it's really about, um, well, it's a strategic disruption to the conversation about how women age and it's a contribution to a new conversation that is emerging about how vital, bold, strong, bright we can age and that we have so much more to give the world and that taking up challenging activities like surfing is just one expression of that. Well, I took up surfing at 69 and it never entered my mind that I was too old. I just thought, yep, this is something I'm going to try. I've never done it before and I'd like to do it. We can do anything, anything at all, and it's an invitation. It's really like opening a door to say, what would you like to do in the second half of your life? We're choosing surfing, but you can choose anything you like. Uh, I was given a board for Christmas, a long board. Uh, we'd moved to Corumban and I thought it would be an absolute crime to live there and not learn to surf. We were inspired to make the doco because we went, within about a month, we went to a couple of different women's surf festivals and all the women up there were like, you know, young 20, 30 year old chicks, which was so cool. And it was just like, wow, this is great. And then we both left going, where's the older women? And we went, wow, someone should make a movie about older women who surf. Yeah. And then we went, oh, we're older women. We should do that. We could do it. We're someone. So that it came from visually not seeing anything documented about us older women. And we surf with so many older women. It's crazy cool. Um, I would have been surrounded by 300 other people learning to surf in Learn to Surf Corner at the Alley, uh, which is a pretty daunting place to learn to surf when you have no idea what you're doing. To be in the film, they had to fit three criteria. Three boxes primary. One, they needed to be a surf witch, so part of our, our board riders club. Two, we wanted that they were, they needed to be over 55, because in Queensland, you are old if you're over 55. Tick. And number three was we wanted women who were already engaged in community and giving back. Um, it was pretty, it was pretty brutal when I was uh, growing up out in the water. I grew up at a time, I grew up on the Gold Coast. I had my teenage years and early 20s on the Gold Coast and really, really wanted to surf during those, that time. I just was desperate and I tried it a number of times. It was before the birth of surf schools. We were being overrun by short, fast, three-finned surfboards known as thrusters. The guys had gotten their hands on them and out in the water, it was brutal for women. I tried to tough it out myself a few times and I couldn't quite pull it off, so I let go of my dream. I gave up, you know, I got married, I had a child, I was working, I was studying, I was doing all of those things. I let my dream of surfing go. And then when I was on a camping holiday with my son Hewan at Lennox at the age of 46, he was 12, I was 46, I saw a flyer in the campsite kitchen and I just went, oh, I think this is my time. And so I went for the dream and I grabbed it on that first wave and I focused and balanced and, and that first wave just opened a whole other phase of my life. I didn't want to surf as a kid. I was happy boogie board to Brisbane, you know, come to the Goldie for holidays and stuff. And when I was 56, my 30-year-old assistant, Shane, said, Jen, we should learn how to surf. I went, oh, yes, great idea, Shane. But I, had, I knew nothing about surfing. Like, I really thought you just ride the wave. I didn't know you had to get out the back of the waves. And the, he used to tow me out. You know, I'd hold his leg rope. I didn't know. You had to paddle out. I knew nothing about surfing. Oh, the hardest thing about learning to surf for me is popping up. To this day, it's still popping up. <laughs> but after beating myself up for maybe three or four months about popping up, I thought, stop thinking about it. Don't let it ruin your surf. Just do what you do and you'll get better. This is our first documentary. I had never dreamt that I would make a movie and to be a rookie, to be rookie filmmakers at 62 just feels really good. I love that title, Rookie Filmmakers. There is so many amazing stories of women to be told particularly older woman, and being an older woman, it's time. It's time. And if we can do anything to help advance the conversation, change the narrative, and have other women and be inspired to get out there and really live the second half of their lives versus turning into little old ladies who think they have to be little old ladies is priceless to me.